Hi guys, it's Patricia and today I'm doing my non scentsy Wax Empties for the month of September 2020. Not a lot in here. I didn't have the greatest vendor wax candle month. Some of them seem to be duds, but let's get into it. The first thing I will go through are my candles. I finished three. So let's do my favorite. This is probably one of my favorite things for the whole month. It is the DW Home Candle and Caramel Coffee. It's a two wick. It's a little bit grungy. It looks speckled down at the bottom. It's got some residue on the side. This one did definitely have trouble pulling out in the top third and then it was fine. It's just that it always had that residue on the side that just gradually sloped down. This is a nice balance between caramel and coffee. You get about 50-50. This was a pretty good little thrower, at least a medium, maybe even a medium plus. I have one more and if I see this again, you can bet I will be picking it up. The wicks are somewhat small on these, but even with a little bit of hassle at the beginning, I would definitely pick this up again. My favorite of the month. So I finished up two Yankees. The first one was Poached Pear Flambe in the large one wick. It's very foggy. <laughs> I did finish this off on the candle warmer to try to get a little bit more scent out of it. Yeah, this one here, it's a really pretty scent, but it, it was very light. Uh, disappointing, but that's just the way it is. Scent notes are pear nectar, crystallized sugar, honey, caramel, whipped vanilla, and fruity musk. I definitely get like a little bit of honey. You get like a soft pear. You get a tiniest bit of caramel. I definitely get those things. I uh, didn't have any problems with the burn uh, that I remember with this one. It just looks kind of strange and foggy and almost like it's dirty, but it's not. Anyway, <laughs> that's poached pear, pear flambe. I have one other one of those. And this one is a medium jar in Honeycrisp apple cider. This one here I think I got for $5 from Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, this is a really nice bright cider scent. It's unfortunately not very strong in the candle form. I might I might chunk that wax up and use it in a warmer. I think it'll do fine in a warmer. It's a nice bright, almost reminds me a little bit of Jack's obsession without the spices. There's no spices in here. It's a nice bright apple scent. Very, very nice. Just too light for me. But I'll, I think I'll use up the, the residual wax and enjoy it that way. I finished up three retail clams. I finished up um, from Goose Creek Love You Latte. This one I finished up one last month as well. This one is just a little bit too light on the coffee for me. It's definitely creamy. It's got like almost like cake and like marshmallowy billowiness and very 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 little coffee. So I need a little bit more coffee. So next time I warm this I think I'll warm it with something like a coffee tree from Scentsy to kind of equalize and bump it up a little bit. From Better Homes and Gardens, I finished a vanilla cookie crunch value pack. This is a nice scent. It's good for like, you know, creaming out really strong coffees if you don't like how bitter they are. I, I finished this off uh, one cube in my entranceway and I finished uh, two cubes upstairs in my TV room. Both really enjoyed this. This one I've been using for quite a while, so I think I have more of that. Nice and strong. <laughs> I finished up a Yankee Candle Tart in Sugared Cinnamon Apple. I think I only have about six tarts left, <laughs> trying to go through them gradually. This one's like a very cinnamon apple scent, like basically apple cinnamon. Um, it did okay in my hot plate 20 watt Yankee uh, warmer that I have in my TV room. It wasn't outstanding by any means. I find these do best in a tea light, so I probably should have warmed it in a tea light. All right, let's go through the vendor wax that I finished up this month. Whoa, oh. One moment. I'm back. <laughs> we had one that went away. So let's do American first. From Danielle, she gave me Brittany Sweet Tarts, uh, these hazelnuts, which is hazelnuts, roasted coffee, and brown sugar. I feel like I got chocolate in this as well. As I film this video, that's when my daughter decides to finally empty the dishwasher. I think I've asked her three times. Anyway, <laughs> it's going to be a little noisy. Um, this was very, very strong. Um, bitter coffee. I did cream it out a little bit with some of that vanilla cookie crunch. And it helped it dramatically. Very strong in a mini warmer. Not as strong in a tea light. So just so you know. From Rainbow Melts, I finished up a caramel apple bake. This is baked apples plus caramel plus pecans. 
this kind of reminded me of like Sensi's um, caramel apple craze, that kind of scent. This was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. It wasn't a bad scent. I just wasn't a standout. From Rose Girls, I had a whole bunch of chunks that I received in a D stash in one of those sticky bags. So I, I rebagged it in one of my bags. It's called Three Little Birds. It's basically Caribbean Congo, strawberry shortcake, mango sorbet, and rice crispy treats. This was um, like you get a little bit of mango, a little bit of rice crispy treats, and like the cakey part of the strawberry shortcake. Um, I just uh, finished this off to kind of finish it off. I would not seek that out to purchase. I got it in a D stash as like a bulk D stash as well, and the bulk D stash, uh, no, a different one. This is Sassy Girl Aroma Sweet Lavender Cotton Candy Frosting. Definitely get a lot of the cotton candy frosting. And this one was starting to lose scent. It's pretty old packaging, so that's nothing to, to write home about as well. Probably a light to medium throw. Uh, from Super Tarts, I finished up two items that Canada Kim gave me. This one was pretty strong. It was part of the advent cal calendar, honey dipped apples, maple mallow cones. Let me just smell this. I remember thinking it wasn't really, yeah, it definitely has a lot of honey and like a little bit of undertone of maple. The honey kind of turned me off. Some honeys are okay, but a lot of them I just don't really like. So um, it's good to try because obviously you love to try them. So thank you, Kim. And this one was like a big kind of very thin chocolate bar, Wonka Wax and Augustus. The scent notes were chocolate orchid, buttercream, sugar cookies and orange marmalade. I didn't really get orange marmalade in this. Like a very soft orange, but not like a tart marmalade. And this was kind of like a bit of a strange scent. It was almost like a gentle floral with like chocolate undertones and like a creaminess. So anyway, that was interesting to try. I really liked um, that she thought of me. So thank you, Kim. From VCS, I finished up two items. Both were great. I would repurchase both. Meet me in St. Louis. This is like brown sugar figs and like glistening snow. To me, it smells like a laundry scent. I like this, it performed well. Yeah, I don't like a lot of laundry scents. This one was really soft and well-rounded, kind of reminded me of a dryer sheet. And um, downstairs, just finishing up yesterday and today, cookies for Santa, which is vanilla bean, graham crackers, whipped cream, and zucchini bread. This was nice, it was very yummy. Yeah, she's really good at like blending those like creamy vanillas with everything else. So that would be a repurchase if I picked up some items from her. So to finish off, we have three items from Canada. Uh, from Make Sense, I'll do the one that I did not like first. This was vanilla pear. This was very disappointing. The scent notes are juicy Bartlett pears and rich French vanilla. This was very like kind of like a dud. It didn't perform very well. It just kind of smells like a perfumey pear. A perfumey vanilla pear. Not for me. I think I might have a, another package that I don't kind of forgot about, but anyway. This would definitely be a repurchase for me. She has great coffee scents. I did rebag this. It's Creme Brulee Cafe, the tasty dessert in a cup. Now this is very ooey gooey coffee, but mixed with like Scentsy's coffee tree. Oh, phenomenal. So definitely going to pick some more up when she reopens. Hopefully she reopens. She's a nurse, and I know that she's kind of taking a step back right now with everything that's going on. But hopefully I will be able to, um, I have lots of other coffee scents from her, so I'm good for a while. But hopefully when she opens up, I will pick up some more coffee scents. And from Tallulah and Poe out of Ottawa, I have Hello Fall. This is blackberry jam, ooey gooey, toasted marshmallows, and waffle cone. This was from August 2018, and this did not perform very well. I think some of these might be getting on the older side of things. Yeah, it smells like a nice, pleasant blackberry, like gentle bakery in here. It just didn't perform very well. So definitely my favorite of the month by far, caramel coffee, probably followed by creme brulee cafe. So it was a very coffee loving month. So as always, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care and I will see you in the next video.